So, Doctor Who, season 14, or is it season one? Because the trailer's just been dropped. Now, BBC, Doctor Who is now partnered with Disney, and things have gone drastically downhill. Money clearly does not benefit that show, because, my God, is it even worse than it's ever been. And... We had this Doctor Who trailer for next series teases thrilling new adventure and finally reveals release window. So there's a few things which are comical about this because it, it looks like they're teasing a weird love triangle between Shooty Gatwa and his new companion's boyfriend. That's a bit weird. Not really sure where, you know, what that's got to do with anything, but fine. Um, and they released... Yeah, they, they released an interesting, well, a lot of stuff, actually. Um, a lot of stuff. So they released this sort of teaser thing uh, on Twitter or X, another behind the scenes thing, another behind the scenes thing. And then they released uh, the trailer as well. The trailer is fantastic. Has anyone seen the trailer? I'm building it up now. Has anyone seen the trailer? Yes. I'm seen been avoiding I'm this. You've written I, it for me, Mikey. Do you want me, do you want me to rant about, about Doctor Who again? Not yet. I want to okay. show everyone okay. the villain. Oh, God. This right. is the villain. Divine well, lost I, some weight. I, I understand the thumbnail now. Subversion. So, <laughs> so check this. This is, <laughs> this is obviously a drag queen. Now, at one I'll point, guess. it was at one point, it was no. You can't villainize. Remember, this is Russell T. Davis is the man that changed Davros from a wheelchair bound guy who's not in a wheelchair. It's actually a life support system, but you know, we'll just fucking overlook that, I guess. From being in a wheelchair to now walking because he didn't want disabled people to be villainized to now putting in a drag queen as the villain. As basically so, Bette Midler role play from uh, Hocus Pocus, it looks like to me. I mean, well, I just think it's comical because. Well, we'll get we'll get to the comments in a minute, but I want you to look at it like this. So this is the sort of the the lens I viewed this from, right? You 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 start infiltrating society, normalizing degenerative, you know, degenerate behavior, right? And then you go, you hide behind the shield of diversity. So you go, no, no, you can't. Actually, you're an ist and a phobe if you if you say anything nasty about us. Don't don't paint us out to be, you know, morally uh degenerate villains no that you you that's wrong so then they keep infiltrating society under that premise and then they go yes queen we can be whoever the fuck we want now we're normalized in society so now we can be villains isn't that weird because that's how i viewed this and i think i'm right if they can be if they can reach villain status then they've sub, the subversion is complete. I agree. They, they've, they've fully normalized this. There are adverts with drag queens on in the UK all the time now on TV. So they fully normalized it. So the subversion is quite literally complete. So anyway, I, I want you. I, what do you think to that? Because I reckon I'm. I reckon I'm bang on the money there. I agree with you completely. Because when uh, I mean, it's like going through the different phases. And uh, look, I, I was one of the ones who thought that RTD coming back along with Tenet was going to be the, I mean, an amazingly positive development. I mean, that was obviously a couple of years ago when I heard the news. And so I've been uh, recently brokenhearted by what I've seen. Um, mm -hmm. I agree with you completely in your assessment. I think once it's normalized that, because essentially what's happened is you can take anyone with this profile can play any character. That means that anyone with this personality profile, what I call a disorder, personality profile, then now can be anywhere, anytime, any place, doing anything. Um, and um, I find it really disturbing and off putting as a longtime watcher of uh, various seasons of 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 Doc. It's it's just really, it's a, I'm, I'm just really, I'm still mad about RTD. And I don't know if I'm more mad at RTD and Tenant as I am mad at myself that I actually thought things were going to get better and get back on track. They've got their own demogorgon look. I mean, that's ripped straight out of Stranger Things, isn't it? Yeah. What the fuck? Honestly, such derivative trash. 
Just steal everything from everything else. Anyway, the the real reason why I wanted to talk about this is that they've they've released this and they've called it season one. It's not season one. This is that whole we're starting completely brand new with everything, even though we've never taken a break. Maybe it's twenty five percent different. Well, it was called season one before because they they were off the air for quite a long period of time, right? So that's why when it came back, it was got it was like, oh, we'll call it season one because it's a new era. Now what they're doing is, well, it's a new era because he's gay and he's black. So that's why it's a new era, apparently. Wait, you think it's the new bizarre. era is like the re the reboot and they're going to like, they have dreams of like resetting like how many doctors there are and we're starting over with this guy as the as the first? Is that what you're saying? I have no idea. I don't think so. I don't I think that's what not. they're doing. But they're, they're just they're just trying to call. The thing is that they're, they're now in the new, you know, they're now with Disney, different sort of um distribution and stuff like that so they can just be like oh, season one now see season one of disney's doctor who that's that's the way it looks just absolute derivative garbage and people people are like oh the beatles have been teased oh yay comments are absolute comedy gold though so we're going to newest comments um, <laughs> so traditionally good looking white women are only allowed as the doctor's companion now if the doctor is black and gay got it <laughs> <laughs> although I would uh, well is Billy Piper was she considered traditionally alright I don't know hmm um I'm Yes, finally, Britain was always black, white people whitewashed everything and hit the truth. Finally, the truth is here and we're talking, or we're taking back what's ours. If that's actually what someone thinks. That's wow, ridiculous. is that a serious comment or a sarcastic one? I can't, literally can't tell because there's, oh. they're framing some high society, uh, olden times as being very multicultural. So oh. I don't know. No. But here, we've been a lifelong fan of Doctor Who, both classic Who and 2005 onwards. Safe to say, I won't be watching anymore. Looks utter like garbage, just like the last three specials. Uh, can't wait for the uh, bloody new season. Uh, so that's releasing in May, apparently. Uh, I want to like it, but I can't. It feels like it re, uh, like rehashes of the good part of the previous Doctors and the new dynamic with Ruby are coming across as borderline creepy, as it has a romance to it. But as someone says. Leans into daughter a bit too far for me. Sorry, what? Don't mind me, just laughing at all the weak-minded consumers in the comments. Woof. <laughs> uh, oh, there's, but there's, there's, yeah, there's a lot like this. It's quite funny now. Uh, what do we think, anyway? What's, what's our thoughts on this? I like the Beatles Come on, culture. You've not said much. I like the Beatles. I'm done with Doctor Who. You you couldn't make me not want to come back and watch it anymore. I, well, I, for the sake of this segment, you're going to have to engage with them, I'm afraid, mate. I okay, think it would be more okay, ironic if they had the Who instead of the Beatles. Oh, Just look. Saying. High Society England. <sighs> yeah, that's... Multicultural uh, everywhere. Yeah, that's definitely historically accurate right there, buddy. You know what? You know what? There they can make it more... Oh, my God. Right, racism never existed. Ladies and gents. Wow. And this, then, then, if racism never existed, Nathan, we have nothing to course correct and overcorrect for. That's right. Exactly. We can leave we can leave my doctors the way they were always meant to be, the way they came out throughout the, the last few decades. Guys, he can say that because he's Mexican. Yeah. I'm right. look any any white people can be racist, apparently. So okay. yeah. well, well, no, I, no, but I mean no, wait, no. See, you tricked me into that. That's not what I no, I mean. <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Uh, All right, oops. look. I like edit, good old. <laughs> edit me for the clip section. Can, can I say something good here? I, I want to say something Go nice. On. Visually, this is as crisp as and clear as a daytime soap opera. Actually, I will yeah. give it that. It doesn't have that overly video look that a lot of stuff from the bbc generally does have because of whatever reason we've talked about in the past 
I'll give it that oh much. God. Well, see, that's part of the problem because because Disney coming in, they essentially gave them a fresh pot of cash to go and play with, yeah, and and wreak havoc with because the only ones that came to the table. It's not like it's not like what they created and what was left over the remnants of of, of the scraps of of Doctor Who that we got from the you know ugh, from the last seasons. There was no one. There was no bidding war. It's not like there were a bunch of studios like dying to like pick this up and fund it. But of course. This mm. thing's now on Disney Plus. It's got Disney money. They're obviously spending Disney money and being whimsical with it. And there's uh, a, a you, you know, we say we like to say go woke, go broke. Well, that only works except and unless Disney doesn't underwrite the the wokeness, and that's what's happening right now. Again, I can't, I can't get over this straight rip off of the Demogorgon. Like that is absolutely what that is, isn't it? Yeah. I mean, I it, who died with Capaldi? Outrageous, absolutely outrageous. This whole thing, unbelievable. Has anyone seen the um, the other the other the, the previous specials where they had someone in a wheelchair with like rocket launchers and stuff? It's fucking, it's ridiculous. I think we also fought a war so we didn't have to deal with this shit, too. Just saying. Disney's willingly bringing it over, mate. Sorry. Oh, it was a joke. Going off. Anyway, there you go. Uh, final <laughs> final words. I've spoken enough about this. I don't have enough words. Or uh, were you a hardcore Hoovian, H? No, not really. I, I liked it when they I liked it when they brought it back. Okay. Right? And then, and then I sort of ended up checking out when Whitaker came back and then, well, a little bit before that as well, to be fair. Mm, all right. I look, Shooty was not a good choice for a doctor character. Um, you know, in his, his, his range and he, the roles he's taken are, have been very singular, singularly focused. That's the nice way of saying mm. what I was going to say. Um, yeah. I'm, I'm not. I'm just not a fan of activist acting, um, and it always shows up in everything. Uh, Doctor Who is an activist program now, and my, Mexican Iron Man, my buddy Mikey, uh, is 100 percent correct. The minute Disney showed up with their bags of cash, we were we were, we're done for. Well, we're doubly done for. I think is the important thing to to say because it so. was. Pretty garbage anyway. Can I ask a question? Do you remember when Russell T. Davies said he was going to save Doctor Who? Oh, yeah. What he meant was save it from those dirty right-wingers. Okay. Obviously. <laughs> clearly. He he definitely, I mean, wanted to save it from, yeah. he definitely wanted to save it from Mexican Iron Man. That's for sure. <laughs> oh, dear, dear. Well, there you go. I thought we'd enjoy that. Um, 